I'm slightly obsessed about my hair because like it feels so unreal that I was able to achieve like this length of hair in like I think two years I literally went from this to this in the space of two years that's like a really big feat for me because because for someone like me that knows little to nothing about hair it's kind of like superb so permit me to be vain guys <laughs> or maybe i should start a youtube channel where i'm talking about hair what do you think <laughs> for me i think it's a bad idea because like i mentioned earlier i know little to nothing about hair so let me just thank genetics and stick to what i do know about which is fashion pattern drafting and sewing <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this pretty pencil skirt with the flounce at the hem. And um, one point to note, guys, is that you can make this skirt as long as you want. So you don't really have to like go with the length, like with the um, length I'm using for mine. You can make it short, or if it's if you want it short, you, that's fine. And if you want it long, that's also fine so the amount of fabric you'll be needing for this skirt um, is going to slightly is going to depend fully on your preference whether it's long whether you want the skirt to be long or whether you want it to be short but for me I literally use like one yard of fabric for the skirt and another yard of fabric for the flounce and that's basically it now if you have not yet subscribed to my channel guys this is time to do it so please click the subscribe button and um you can also give this video a thumbs up sign that is you're liking the video so like this video also if you find it helpful and you can also share with um people that you feel that uh might need it you can also turn on the notifications bell right beside the subscribe button just so you can get notified when i post new videos So first things first guys, you are going to need um, your basic skirt pattern like this. So if you don't know how to draft one, check out my video on how to sew a pencil skirt with bow detail. The video should be right on top of your screen right now. But if it's not there, please check in the description box for the video link. Now um, the next thing is to decide how long you want your skirt to be so for me i have um 18.5 inches um uh, here so if i add 2.5 inches to that 18.5 inches so the 2.5 inches will be for the waistband that i'm going to be adding to the skirt later so i'm going to add 2.5 inches to the 18.5 inches i have here and that's going to give me 21 inches so 21 inches is the is going to be the full length that is total length of my skirt so once you decide how long you want your skirt to be from here then you come right to the hem here come right to the hem of your skirt here and then you go in from between one to one and a half inches so you go in like this measuring one inch one one and a quarter or one and a half whichever one you want so you measure that in to make your skirt pencil so for me i'm going to use like one and a quarter inches so i'm just going to mark that here then i'm going to connect this i'm going to connect it back to my hip level here then you can use your french curve to like um through this part string just means making blending it so you don't have a sharp end here so i'm just going to true that and that's that for making your pencil skirt so for me I'm, i don't want to like put a dart on my skirt so the next if you don't want to do the same with me the only thing you just need to do is to close your darts here so you close your dart and pin down then you add your allowance so one inch allowance for the side half inch or one inch for the hem half inch for the waistband and this is my front then this is with the zip allowance um, i have this pattern um contains both my front and back 
pattern so once i fold these parts i have my front piece and once i open it this is the zip allowance for my back piece so and that's that so i'm just going to like um add my allowances and then i'm going to cut this out of my fabric now this is my fabric all cut out this is my front piece and then this is my this is my back piece you can see i have two of this so you cut it at two two separate pieces because you'll be having your zip allowance in the middle then this is my band the band i'll be adding later this is the i'm, I'm i've decided to like um um this is my front band and these are my two back bands you don't have to cut it you don't have to cut your band uh, your band into pieces like this i just want to do mine for this just because my fabric wasn't enough so i had to like um, cut it into pieces so you can make yours as like really long to accommodate the actual waist without um cutting it into pieces like this then you iron your interfacing on top of the band then for me i'm not going to be cutting the lining for this skirt because um when i'm sewing um ready to wear i don't really like to use too much line i don't like to really use lining for ready to wear because it kind of makes the um clothes bulky and then apart from that my clothes has like a stretch so if i use a lining like a cotton lining on this it's going to remove the stretch of the boy you can combat that if you really want to use the lining for yours you can combat that by using a lining with a that, that is stretchy that is using a lining with a stretchy fabric so you can use it that light brow or whatever you feel you want to use for but for me i'm not using a lining for this skirt so the next thing is to start sewing now to sew this is pretty easy so since i don't have a that since i've already closed my dart on the pattern i don't need to like um start with um sewing in my dart because i've already removed that but if you have that in your own the first step will be to sew your dart first so then after that the next thing is to place both your front piece and back piece right sides together but before normally i would have asked that you first join your zip allowance your back zip allowance together at the middle but there's a reason why um i'm not doing that yet but so let's go let's move on with this one so we'll, you place both your front and um, back pieces right sides together and then you sew down by one inch here and then one inch also at the side so i'm just going to be doing that now and then i would um show you what that looks like now this is it i've already sewn this then you make sure you iron the seams open like i've also done you can see that here you can see this here now this is where you need to pay a bit more attention this is my back open still open then now if you look at this skirt well you'll find out that um the skirt the flounce is a bit unequal at the hem that is it is asymmetric that if you look at the front of that skirt you can see that the flounce is up and if you look at the back you see that the flounce is a little bit curved down now to get that shape we are going to have to mark the uh, direction of how you'll be sewing the flounce onto the skirt you mark that out before you place your flounce so i'm just going to mark that out right now so i will need you to like um follow the follow my markings of how i'm going to mark this down now um i've turned this so it's facing you so you can see what i've done because um we're going to be attaching the flounce to the right side so i've decided to mark this on the right side so you come from you decide where you want your flounce to start from in front so you measure that i've measured for me i've measured four inches from the hem up then i went up this way and then i came like this 
and then I went back down to this exact four inches here so this is how my flounce is going to travel in front it's going to come from here all the way like this then like this and then it comes back down and then for the back for the back this is what I want it to look like at the back so at this exact point that from the front here you can see this point so from that point I, I'm going to come up a bit like this then I you decide whatever you are doing just decide how you want just draw your drawing your markings you don't have to follow um, the exact measurements I have drawn on this so just follow this shape and then you are going to get the exact type of flounce on this case so for the back I'm coming this way like this then I'm coming back down here and then I'll go like this remember that there's a zip allowance here so make sure you fold it in so you can see that I folded that in then I'm going to come here like this then I'm coming up again and then it goes down and that's the end so I hope you can understand it so this is the aim of my skirt my waist is right here so this is where this is what is going to look like at the back it's going to come in like a zigzag kind of way like this you can see this then in front in front is just going to have like this kind of shape you can see that so the next thing for you to do is to measure the length of this line so I'm going to measure mine so the whole length of all of this from the front to the back for me is 55 inches so that measurement you write that down somewhere and then you use that to draft your circle uh, to draft a circle pattern so for the flounce you can either use um, a flounce pattern or you can use a circle pattern if you don't know how to draft either of this please uh, check out my video tutorial on how to draft a, a 3 tiered circle skirt and also how to draft a spiral pattern for the two different um, designs so whichever one you feel comfortable with you can use either of them so the video should be right on top of your screen and if it's not please check it out in the description box so for me i drafted a circle pattern for myself and this is my uh, circle pattern you can see that so i used my 55 inches i used it to draft this um circle uh pattern so the length of my circle is like 11 inches you can make it longer if you want you can make it shorter if you want but for me it's um 11 inches 11 inches all the way round now i'm going to be attaching this to the um, line i drew on top of my skirts so you can attach this with pins before you commit to sewing it so i'm just going to do that you place that right side together like this and then I'm going to pin all of that down now. So once I'm done attaching that with um, pins, all I have to do is just um, fix my zipper at the close my um, close the zip allowance here. Fix, fix my zipper here, and then I'll fix my waistband. So I'm just going to be doing all of that now. So you're going to be sewing this down by half inch. I'm going to be measuring my my uh, 3cm for the allowance so the 3cm I added earlier on my pattern I'm going to measure it here. then I'll keep measuring that down and then I'll sew a straight stitch all the way to the 
hem so i'm not going to be adding a slit to this skirt so i'm just i'm going to close the whole thing all the way to the end now to attach the front band i'm going to open the side up a little just like this just so i can attach my front band you remember my band is cut into pieces so i'm going to I already ironed my interfacing on this so i'm going to place this like this so i'll place this the right side of this right side will face the wrong side of my front fabric and then i'll sew down by half an inch all the way to the end so i'm just going to do that now now i'm going to bring it now i'm going to bring it like this after sewing this i'm going to bring it like this and then i'll fold in half inch this way and then i'll top stitch all the way to the end and this is what you are going to have it's straight and this is at the back closed in at the back so i'm going to do the same also for the back piece now the zipper is done you can see that so now it's time to fix your back waistband now to do that we are going to place this waistband we'll place it we'll place the right side of the waistband on the wrong side of your fabric and then we sew down by half inch doing just the way we did for the back piece so i'm just going to do that you can see there's a little bit of extension here from the zip then i'll be showing you what that represents so. now this little extension here you are going to fold your waistband right sides together here just like this and then you are going to sew down a quarter here just such that once you open this up your extension is going to be like three quarter inch or half inch whichever um depends on it depends on how much extension you added to your waistband before when you were cutting it so i'm just going to do that now and show you what that looks like then you turn it in you turn it in like this and then you top stitch it just like we did for the front piece so you fold in by half inch you fold it by half inch and then you start top stitching at the edge here all the way to the end so once you finish top stitching you do the same also for the other side and then you close your side seams that is the part we opened earlier so you close it together at the side and that's the end for this tutorial so guys this is the final look of my skirts this is the band the flounce and then I actually initially planned to add like a few pleats in the middle here just to give it like some kind of ruffle around the middle side here, but i think i have enough fabric for that so but then if you are making yours you can always add pleats it to give, make it more prettier and all of that and like i mentioned earlier your skirt can be longer than this you can make it longer than this or you can make it as short as this it, it depends on you and you can you can see my sewing stitch like right here and then that's all so, and this is the back of my skirt and the front that's basically all don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and give this video a thumbs up sign while you're there you can also turn on the notifications bell right beside the subscribe button just so you can get notified when i post new videos